Two minutes. I appreciate the gentleman's courtesy. I find no small amount of irony listening to our friends from the other side of the aisle talk about complexity on tax day, because for the 12 years that they were in charge, there was an explosion, hundreds of thousands additional words added to the IRS code. Loopholes and complexity, not simplification. It's absolute hogwash that these are, that they are areas that the IRS won't go after to collect, and we have to use private collection agencies. They are the people who decided to underfund the IRS. Testimony before our committee was conclusive. The IRS trained employees collect eight times as much per person as these bounty hunters that they contract out. We will raise, with a, a minimum of $70 million investment, we will raise over $1.4 billion. Equally specious is the argument here that we're hearing about HSAs. There are millions of Americans who have benefits, as my good friend from North De uh, uh, Dakota pointed out, uh, uh, flexible savings accounts. We have them for our federal employees. And they ha all they have to do, however, is there is some minimal verification. That what they're proposing is that we just ignore it and allow people to use it for car washes and country club memberships and rely on an occasional audit, which is much more difficult because they have cut back on the IRS. Uh, that's foolish. It works for millions of Americans with flexible benefits accounts. There's no problem doing it with HSAs. It's time for us to move forward with these simple, common-sense efforts, steps that make the IRS more effective, more money for the taxpayers, events, the gentleman has expired. events, inappropriate use of tax-exempt money.